Welcome to Santiago. Hey, welcome to our hostel in Santiago. We're staying at the Plaza de Armas Hostel, which is right in the main square. We arrived yesterday and we chilled with a few Pisco Sours on the terrace. And now it's time to show you around the hostel. Let's go. The hostel had an amazing free breakfast and tea and coffee all day long. Served in a lounge, which even has a Nintendo 64. The rooms were simple but comfortable, with lockers outside in the corridor. The kitchen was small, but we managed to kick our classic tuna pasta bake. What makes this hostel is the views. People will pay a lot to stay in a penthouse here. On the square below, there are lots of cheap food options, like this tasty churrasco italiano. Good morning and welcome to our first proper day in Santiago. After we rested with some pisco salads last night, we decided to explore the city and start off with a free walking tour. It's tours for tips and it's going to cover a lot of ground. Hopefully it will give us some good guidance and good tips of places to go. Come and join us now. We took the tour on a busy Saturday. The markets were full as everyone was doing their weekly shop. The tour concentrated on the markets of Santiago giving us a taste of what it was like to live there. We were recommended a fresh juice with churri moya and orange juice. It was so refreshing. The guide bought us some food to try. The avocados and strawberries were in season making for the best combination of cheap and tasty. We had a local lunch at the market and tried some pastel de cholo, which is corn pie and ceviche for lunch. And all this food was less than 10 pounds. The tour finished in the cemetery, where we learnt about Santiago's past. It may not seem like a touristy place to see, but at 210 acres and built like a city, with roads and neighbourhoods for different classes and communities, it's a very interesting place to visit and learn about Chile. I thought we'd point out one bargain that we got. These blueberries, I'm not sure how much there is in there, but if you just zoom in, have a little look. So many blueberries. Oh. I know, and it worked out about one pound ten pence for the whole thing. I mean, back home, I, don't, I hate to think how much this would cost, um, but yeah, absolute bargain. Looking at the inside of them. These are fresher than your average as well. This is the main plaza in Santiago, it's called Plaza de Armas. If you go to any other cities in Chile or South America, you will see that they have pretty similar names. They're not super inventive. This is the main, main square, there's lots going on. There's a cathedral behind us. We've got a section for people playing chess. There's food stands that come in the night time and there's street performers in the daytime. We've seen dancers, we've seen circus skills. And we are staying up here, right at the top of this building in Plaza de Armas Hostel, which gives you an incredible view of the plaza. And today we're going to be exploring the city some more, going up to the top of the hill, which is called Cerro San Cristobal. And apparently there's some nice parks and gardens up there. And as it's a Sunday, we're going to take it easy and chill and check it out. Let's go. To get around Santiago, you need one of these cards. You can have one per couple or per group and just load it for as many journeys as you want. It's about 800 pesos per journey. And it doesn't matter how many stops you do, how many lines you cross over. Um, and you don't have to pick out on the way out, just on the way in. So make sure you get one of these as soon as you get to Santiago. Um, get yourself a handy little map as well because the maps on the tube stations are few and far between. We're going to get on um, the green line now from Plaza de Armas, switch to the red line and then hopefully we'll get to the bottom of the park. We're crossing the river. It's known in Santiago as the Chocolate River because of the colour. But it's actually pretty safe and clean water. It comes from the mud from the Andes that washes down and mixes with the sediment. So even though it looks a pretty horrible colour, there's nothing like poo or anything going on in there. Okay, 
so we're just walking through the neighbourhood of Providence here. We're really surprised by the contrast uh, of yesterday to today. So it's, it's really quite a wealthy area around here. We've got beautiful houses. It feels quite calm. Uh, the streets have been closed and everyone's riding on their bikes. Um, and rollerblades as well. Uh, so it's quite a nice atmosphere. Um, yesterday it was really, really busy in the Hudson of the Markets. So it, it does show that Santiago is still quite a divided city. Out there I've just seen the cable cars. Um, so that's going to help us walk up the hill, which is great because it's really hot right now. So I need a bit of help walking up the hill. We made it up to the top of the swimming pool on top of the San Sam Cristobal Hill. It is called Piscina Tapahue, we think. And as you can see, it's busy with lots of families enjoying the sunshine. It's 37 degrees today, and we're loving it too. <laughs> you ready? We made it to the top of the San Cerro Cristobal Hill. We took the cable car up here and you can go to an area where there's a public swimming pool and some nice views of the city and then you can hop back on it and connect over to this area where you can take a funicular down which is what we're going to do in just a sec. Uh, we're just sat here chilling at the moment watching the view and we went up to see the lady just now. It's so beautiful up here. Didn't realise how big Santiago was until you get up on top of this hill and it just spreads out for miles and miles around you. Um, we had a really nice time up here, had a little picnic looking over the view as well. And now we're going to go down to the Bella Vista area and Adam's going to show me where he works for a month or so of his life. showing Gemma where I used to work and hang out. So we're on the main street which is Pino Ono and we're having one of the main meals that they have here. It's something and then a la pobre which is chips, onion and egg and then you can have whatever you want on it. So Gemma's gone for chicken and I've gone for churrasco which is a slice of beef. Another day of exploration in Santiago begins and today we are going to go and check out the seafood market as well as look at some of the streets that are well known for thrift shopping and we're going to go to the Sky Costarena which is the large shopping mall as well just just have a look around we don't really need to buy anything but just to experience what people here might want to do when they need to go shopping. The street that we're currently walking on is called Bandera and it's about four blocks long and it's got lots of vintage clothing stores where you can find things that are pretty much mainly sent from the US over here. So if you need to top up your travel wardrobe, it's pretty easy. Make sure that you bring a rucksack that has enough space because we have no space so we can't buy any. So we're a bit sad, but there's lots of cool things to try on. And um, yeah, if you're halfway through your trip and you need a bit of a change up of your outfits, come here. Yeah, you still like a single dry, they were talking like £45. Now the £5 so we have to do is wait a couple of 
thing is, get to Santiago, get yourself to a fruit store, and uh, you can pick up a bargain. They look horrible. Okay, so I'm here in the Central Market. Um, we've just ordered some food. We ate here the other day, and now we've got something else. We've had to guess a little bit what's in the menu, but I've ended up with an avocado tuna salad, which looks really tasty. Um, everywhere you go here, they give you like a bit of salsa as well, which is like super fresh and like tangy, delicious. Adam's waiting for his, but I'm going to start talking in now. It's really cheap food, so if you do need somewhere to come and eat and you don't really want to buy lots of groceries and cook in the hostel yourself, definitely make your way down to this market um, and get something for approximately three pounds. Oh, it's only open till five, so make sure you get down here for lunch or for breakfast. So I've decided to go for pescado, which is fish, and it's come with potato salad. I understood the potato part, but I didn't understand the second bit, but potato salad is great. Sky Costa Rena is the largest skyscraper in Latin America and underneath is a huge shopping centre with everything you need, including a massive food court that we went straight to for some frozen yogurt. This concoction here was made at Yogurt Life. Um, we've chosen the same tub, which was maybe a mistake. Adam went for cheese, cake and chocolate. I went for lemon and ginger and mandarin. I wanted fruit on top. Adam wants lots of chocolate on top. The best this, is what we've, this is what we've come up with. That evening we watched the sunset on the terrace and chilled with some pisco sours before resting and packing our bags to head to the next destination, which is Valparaiso. And that's coming next. Would you come to Santiago? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode.